Hello, whiskey hunters. First, let me apologize for the quality of this video. I'm working with a um, cell phone here. I'm sure it'll get better once I get a GoPro or something, something better. I don't even know what people use. But um, let's talk about whiskey hunting. You know, whiskey hunting is not much different than going to a garage sale, a flea market, um, that sort of thing, and looking for treasures. Half of it is just showing up. It's more than half of it. It's most of it. It's just taking the opportunity as it comes and don't let it pass you by. So I want to tell you about the bottle that's in this container here. A few months ago, I was coming home from work and I was in a bad area of uh, the city where I live. and. Um, there was a Mexican party store. So, seeing a liquor sign, I'm just compelled to go into that store. It doesn't matter where it's at, what type of store it is, I'm compelled to go based on the years I've been hunting. So, I go into the store, and it's what you it expect from that kind of store. A lot of pinatas hanging out. Um, um, a big store, but a lot of little knickknacks and not much really of a liquor selection. But as I'm looking around, I'm I'm uh, uh, in the middle of the store and I'm looking in a counter that's got like tchotchkes in it. And back against the wall is a cabinet and I see some whiskey bottles and different um, alcohols laying down on their sides. And I see this container here. So I I see that, you know, it says Oban, but it doesn't look like an Oban container that I've seen before. And I can see the price on it from where I'm standing. And it, you know, it's priced as a 14-year-old Oban. So I asked the girl that's up at the front counter to come back. She really doesn't speak much English. And I asked her, could I look at that, pointing to it? And she Took it out of the cabinet. So, you know, I opened the container because it's not the same color container as the 14 year old. And, and I'm looking at it and <laughs> I'm thinking, how fast can I get out of this store with the price that's on here that allows me to keep this bottle? So I paid her cash and uh, looked at the bottle again when I got in my car. I didn't even know this distiller made an expression this age. So you wouldn't even think to find high quality um, whiskey at this store. And this was out of place. I'm sure that it was priced as a 14 year old. But as you can see, it's an Oban 32 year bottled in 2001 distilled in 1969. They did not make that many bottles of this. In fact, they made 6,000 bottles, and this is bottle 5637 of 6,000. The price on this is $72. $72.99. It's what uh, you'd find in a 14-year. You know, my heart dropped. I was expecting them to come chase me and make me return it. But this bottle apparently has probably been there since 2001 or early, two, or excuse me, 2002 is when it was bottled. And, uh, you know, God knows what that's worth. But it cost me $72.99 in tax. You never know where you're going to find a bottle. Take the opportunity when you drive by a place, go in and look. You never know. I said I'd review uh, uh, scotch today, and I've got a three-year-old deluxe by Compass Box. It's a limited release. Um, 3,282 bottles were produced. Oops, there we go. 3,282 were produced, and I was very fortunate enough to get a bottle. I love Compass Box, especially their limited releases. There, John Glazer is a mad genius 
in his uh, mixing of casks. This has been sitting, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. You've probably heard from others or read that, uh, or maybe you haven't, that whiskey should sit one minute for every year of age in the bottle. And I find that is true. And if you allow it to open up, imagine that whiskey's been sitting. Well, I'm not allowed to tell you how old this whiskey is. They don't, they don't allow us to tell at uh, Compass Box once you get the bottle. I think someone will come through my door if I do. But I'll tell you that um, it's been sitting over 20 minutes. And if it's been in a cask that long, you'd think that going right from cask to bottling, it's going to need some time to sit to allow itself to open up. And this has. You know, this compass box um, is a slap in the face to the Scotch Whiskey Association because Scotch has to be three years to be considered a Scotch. And by putting three year old on the bottle, they, uh, they're saying, hey, you know, uh, you may not let us disclose what's in this bottle, but but it's nothing short of uh, 20 years in this bottle. Three years old is the youngest expression in here, and there's very little three-year-old in here. But by having three-year-old, you have to put the youngest whiskey as the age statement, and they have. And it's a slap in the face, as I said, to the Scotch Whiskey Association. So we're going to taste this. We're going to nose it. And then we're going to taste it and see what we have. Oh, my God. So you can immediately tell, wow, that you are not smelling a three-year-old whiskey. You can pick up honey. Uh, fruit, certainly some sherry. There's a smoke in the background. It's not prevalent, but it's there. Uh, this makes me think of being in Hawaii sitting under a palm tree. Oh, it's wonderful. It's very tropical. It's very fruity. It's, uh, it's got a, a waxy feel to it. I'm going to uh, go ahead and have a taste of this. The color, by the way, is uh, golden. Sorry again about the poor camera quality. Let's have a taste. Wow. There's no burn on this, no alcohol burn. Oh, wow. It's very oily, very mouth-watering. You pick up, well, I pick up tropical fruits. I can really imagine myself with a bowl of fruit under a palm tree in Hawaii right now. That's what this feels like to me. Let's have another taste. There's smoke. There's there's fruits. There's a waxiness to it. Mm. 
There's pineapples, mangoes. Mm. Maybe a passion fruit. It's very fruity. It's very, very good. It, it, um, the finish, the finish is not real long, but it's very juicy. Very juicy. This is an excellent dram. You can tell you're drinking something extremely balanced and old. This juice is definitely um, over 20 years old. Ah, fantastic. If you are lucky enough to come across a three-year-old deluxe by Compass Box, certainly you want to grab it. You know, you regret what you don't buy, not what you do. I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, we'll uh, talk about different uh, tactics I use to hunt and um, different, uh, we'll review different expressions as we go along. And again, I appreciate y'all joining me and uh, Whiskey Hunter out.